Hi, I'm Ella and I'm 10 years old. <laughs> I'm standing in front of the Ionic Column from the Temple of Artemis at Sardis from the day of 300 BC. And this column was originally over 56 feet tall. It's huge. <laughs> if you come to the Metropolitan Museum, it would be very hard to miss seeing this column. Ancient Greek architects had three different types of columns named the Doric, the Ionic, and the Corinthian columns. The Doric had the simplest design. On the top, it's very plain. It's kind of like a half circle in a way. The Ionic has scrolls on both sides of it. There's four spirals, two in the front and two in the back. It kind of looks like a pillow to me. Corinthian, I think, is decorative. Looks like an ornament. It looks like there's leaves coming out of it and then flowers in it, so it looks like a flower bush. They make me feel really small. <laughs> I like the Corinthian because in the Corinthian, you could find hidden flowers and leaves and types of designs. And it's made out of marble, too, so it must be so hard to make such fine details. For dance, I've been practicing headstands. And when your feet are together and you could hold it, it looks so controlled, like a column. It's so controlled and it's so strong. Columns are still used today in famous monuments around the world. I do think that people think they're beautiful today. This is Ella reporting from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Thanks for watching.